Hey everybody, you all know what a stickler I am for simplicity when it comes to products that technicians are going to apply out in the field, things you're going to put on the truck. There's a lot of really great products that have features. Features are great, but the best kind of features are the features that make it easy for technicians in the field to apply a product. And that's why I've really been enjoying the White Rogers 70 series of thermostats. They make programmable, non-programmable, conventional, and heat pump type thermostats. And there's some features on here that I really love. One of the first things that's the most obvious on this is the contractor branding. The contractor branding is really clean, it's really simple, and it is factory applied, and then you still buy it through distribution. So it makes it really easy for a contractor to get your phone number right out there. Uh, it's very simple, straightforward. People know the name of your company and they know the number to call, which is really what you want when you have contractor branding on a thermostat. It's very clean. Just a little bit more about the contractor branding program. It's super simple. All you have to get, do is go to procontractorbranding.com select the thermostat you'd like to brand, upload your logo or contact information and review the proof. Once submitted, you'll receive an imprint number, take that to your local distributor and then have them put on the PO when you place your order. It's a minimum of 12 thermostats, free printing and free shipping. As always, we recommend getting the WR mobile app. It is an amazing app. It has all the manuals and information about all the White Rogers line of products as well. And procontractorbranding.com, that's where you go to find out more and to sign up for the branding program. The other thing I really like about this thermostat is that it has the selector switches on the side, very easy for a client to find. I, I'm not a big fan of push button mode selection. A lot of clients struggle with that at times. And then just up and down, very simple. The other thing I like is even the programmable series, it gives you the ability to disable the programmability really easy in the installer setup. A technician can actually take this right out of the box, install it without even having to go into the installer setup. And the reason for that is, is that you have some selector switches here that are the most common things that you would need to do in the installer setup just by selecting on the switch. So gas or electric, O or B if it's a heat pump, and then in this case, because this is a conventional thermostat, it has an RCRH jumper and the heat pump version, it has a W2 to E jumper in place, which is one of the most common jumpers on kind of old school thermostats you had to put in, one of the most common selectors. It makes it really easy for you to take this thermostat out of the box, put it on the wall, get it set up, get the customer going and testing the equipment as quickly as possible without having to take a lot of extra steps. Also, another thing I love about it, it's got the level bubble right on the base plate, which makes that even easier to install for your clients. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this in my house just to show you how easy it is and keep in mind, you know, hey, I've been a technician a long time and I've been a podcaster for the last couple of years. So I can show you that even a podcaster can install this thermostat easily in under five minutes. Here we go. All right, so the first thing you have to do when you're installing any thermostat is you have to shut off the power. So we're gonna shut off the disconnect. I'm gonna go in and uh, identify all of my conductors. We have all of the common uh, kind of conductor colors. You have your red, which is your constant 24 volt power. You have your blue, which is your common. If you don't have a common, you can rely just on battery backup. Don't suggest it. It's generally better to connect a common if you can. You have Y, which is your 24 volt contactor. That's what energizes the outside unit because this is a heat pump. That's both heat and cool. If it was a conventional system, we would call Y the cooling wire. In this case, the white wire is our electric heat or our auxiliary backup heat. And our orange wire is what energizes our reversing valve. Now, again, because this is a carrier system, it's a very standard heat pump system. It's going to energize orange in cooling mode. If we were applying this on a system that we were energizing it in heating mode, we would have to just flip that little dip switch that I showed you on the back of the thermostat. Very, very easy to do. So after we shut that disconnect off, make sure that there is no power at the thermostat. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and just align it, make sure that it's kind of gonna be level uh, before we put our screws in. Now, if this was just drywall behind, I would actually punch a small hole. Usually I just use the smaller sized Phillips head, make a hole and then put those wall anchors in. In this case, I actually have wood backing behind the thermostat. So I'm going to just run my screws straight in. I'm just gonna kind of make some marks, make sure they can get started. And then I'm gonna get my thermostat mounted and leveled. Uh, then I'm going to make sure to, as I connect each conductor, I'm going to make sure to trim it back so that way I don't have too much extra. Now, this is my house, so I, you know, some of you may say, well, it's kind of messy wiring. Again, I'm, I install and remove a lot of thermostats uh, on my home, and I even kind of teach my kids. I had This one was actually installed by my son before. 
So uh, let's not focus too much on that in this case. Normally I would make everything very, very neat and tight uh, for each particular wire. We're gonna go through, trim back each conductor, make sure that we don't have too much excess uh, bare wire. And we're just gonna make each connection like we talked about. We're gonna make sure that each one is snug. We're gonna kind of tug on it and make sure that it doesn't uh, pull out easily. And once we're done, snap that faceplate on. Uh, once we're done, we put the batteries in the thermostat. We can go ahead and, and set the installer setup if we want to. In this particular case, the only things I'm really going to adjust are going to be those minimum and maximum temperatures. Because again, this is on my house. I don't want my kids setting it up too high or too low. So I'm gonna set some minimum and maximum temperatures, snap the face on, power it back up and test the equipment. In this case, the total actual install of this thermostat took me less than three minutes. Uh, and again, I'm a little out of practice, so for those of you out in the field who do this every day, it'll be a really, really simple installation. Again, this is our White Rogers 70 series thermostats. You can find these at wholesalers all across the country. Really impressed by this thermostat, impressed by its simplicity. It's also backed by the reputation of White Rogers, so they're not gonna lead you astray. Contractor branding available, heat pump, conventional, programmable, non-programmable, all options. Check it out. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing, you can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.